very worrisome development. Now, non-compliance to extent laws guiding import and export processes in Nigeria has been identified as a major impediment to seamless clearance and timely release of cargoes from the ports. The Nigeria Customs Service says that non-conformity to guidelines is frustrating trade. CBC News correspondent Ifonaya Eze reports. Besides facilitating trade, the Nigeria Customs Service also generates revenue for government. At a handover ceremony at the Apapa Customs Command, the newly promoted Acting Assistant Controller General Bashe Abubaka stated that even with the huge revenue collections from import duties and levies, export business remains a major economic driver. Every country that is proud of its economy uh, hinges more of uh, its ability on the quantum of uh, export uh, proceeds. Uh, with regards to Nigeria and uh, with regards to Nigerian Customs Service, we are seeing a lot of uh, improvement with regards to export. While identifying major impediments to export promotion, an exporter complained about recurring losses. The people that are in charge of executing government policies, if they are doing what they're supposed to do, you will not have all this green law. Before this goods gets to that place and it is being rejected and they bring back the containers to Nigeria, these losses come in millions of dollars. But the customs management is blaming non-conformity to trade guidelines. The major problem we have is still the compliance. Compliance in the sense that if the clearance, that is the importers or their representative, if they are declaring items exactly the way they import them, there have been no issues. When I, I stopped over 2,000 containers from export, I realized a lot of them don't even know the documents to process, talk less of uh, delays. A typical Nigerian wants, uh, in, you know, uh, if he wants a situation where how do I get my thing done the way I want. It is not like that internationally. The conviction is that adherence to extant laws will guarantee seamless operations in line with the ease of doing business mandate of government. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos. And that's all on TVC News this hour. Thank you for watching. You can get more on our website. It's tvcnews.tv. Follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Our handle is at TVC News NG. Thank you for watching and join us at the top of the hour for TVC News at 10.